All right, so we're essentially doing a basics part two today. I think there's some other good tools um, that I wanted to cover <clears throat> and just things that you can do from literally day one um, just to make your packing a little more efficient. Before we get started, I do want to mention Viper is now open source. Volk is not maintaining the project anymore. He's moving on to bigger and better things. And so now we can all take a look at the source code for free. So if you're interested in gray script or scripting your you know, your custom programs or something like that. Um, I highly recommend going and checking that out. I'll uh, link the GitHub in the description below so you can go check that out. Um, so the first tool I wanna to talk about today is Tor. Tor is basically how you create proxies. Um, this is how you create a bunch of devices all linked together and then you connect through those devices um, to basically keep yourself anonymous. Um, and this basically, the Tor program works um, through map.exe basically. So if we go to, let's open a file explorer and in root config, there's a map.conf file. And this is where all of your nodes will be when you add them. I'm not gonna open it up because it's plain text, but. So the first thing we wanna do is apt get install tour, right? And if this doesn't work, it means that you don't have the repo added. Um, you want to go back to my previous video and learn how to add repos um, to install programs that you need. Okay, so Tor is installed. Um, the first thing that you can do is just type Tor and that's the help page, um, dash H and dash help do not work. Um, but I already know that I've had Tor installed, so I'm actually just going to delete this file and then I'm going to open up map.exe again. And so that just generated a new map file for me. So all of my previous Tor connections have now been cleared out. So Tor is pretty easy. There's only two parts. You have your dash A and your dash C. Dash A is adding, and then you specify how many nodes you want to add. And then dash C is to connect to those nodes. So if we do a Tor dash A2, right? I'm gonna add two nodes. Typically you would probably do a couple more um, but just for the sake of brevity, we're gonna do two. Cause it's gonna hack, it's just gonna go find random IPs and then hack them. And then put them in my map table. And then we connect through those computers, right? So there we go, we already have it. Now, if I was to go on this map.conf, it would list all of my stuff in there, but it's plain text. So I don't want you to see that. Um, so now the only other part of this is tor-c, right? So now we are on a remote computer, right? So now you're anonymous, you don't have to pay for any servers and you, you know, and you can start doing all of your hacking stuff. So there's obviously a couple things we wanna do on this remote computer. We wanna get Viper installed, we want VBT um, and crypto and Metasploit and all that stuff. So let's do this manually now. I wanna note, you can make a macro for this. You can make a small script to move to, to once you get your Tor connection going, you can just automatically upload all this stuff. So um, I'm doing this manually just to point out SCP, which is a really good tool. Um, that's how you transfer stuff over regular command line. So for example, um, SCP-U means upload, and then you specify the file that you're uploading from. Now SCP will move it into whatever folder you are currently in. So let's say we wanna do Viper first. So we're gonna wanna CD space bin, right? So we're in bin, and then we could do an SCP space U slash bin slash Viper, right? So now it's putting it from bin to bin. And then we also want to upload the second tool that we will be using slash bin slash VBT. Okay, great. And then we're going to CD over to slash lib Right, because now we need to scp-u uh, space lib uh, slash crypto.so, right? And then we'll also do meta exploit, right? So now we're now we go back to root. We're on a remote computer. Let's launch Viper. There we go, right? So we have everything cooking and we're on a remote machine. 
Um, keep in mind that since I did two nodes, I am only one hop away between my entrance node and my exit node for Tor. So you probably want to add a couple more nodes so there's more than one connecting the two. Um, so now that we're here, let's hack something. I want to now demonstrate um, VBT. And VBT is a very powerful tool uh, that can hack basically any root password with from guest shell. All you need is guest shell. So it's really easy to use. And so I want to demonstrate that as well. Keep in mind, these are all free. They're all on the Viper website. So if you don't have it, you can do an apt get install VBT. Oh, well, I don't, I don't have the repo here because we're on a hacked computer, but I did do the, the SCP upload earlier. Um, so let's just go find a quick job. Let's just do something really easy because we, all we need is a guest shell. Um, let's just, let's try an easy one. Now, keep in mind that because we're on a remote computer, we're not going to have any of the processing power and stuff that we would have on our home computer. But there's nothing stopping you from launching a browser inside this window, and that'll open a browser for that machine. You can go buy some gear um, to make it a little bit faster. There's, there's, a, there's nothing wrong with that. So let's end map bad IP. Do we have anything good? Okay, so I see a user computer on 22. So let's try that really quick. And again, this is gonna take a little bit longer because we're on a, you know, a remote system, but we're secure. Oh, and one other thing I did wanna mention is once you get on that remote computer, we're gonna update everything. We're going to um, do a secure dash server. We're gonna do um, an apt get update because now that we're on this computer, we know that it, it has it's hackable, right? So like if we do an apt get update here, see all these see all these packages? That's how that's that's the reason why we were able to tour into this. Right. Okay. So let's look at targets. Okay. Boom. Right there. We have a guest shell. So I want to, I, before we get into the guest shell, I want to demonstrate something very important with VBT specifically. So if I FS and I look in here, see how VBT has all these permissions. Let's say that I do a secure dash server, right? Because this is going to be the device that I used to hack with. You're going to want to do this. And I click yes. Now if I do an FS, right? Nothing in here has permissions, but we're gonna need those permissions for VBT. So let's go back to targets. And let's actually, before we go there, we're gonna need to change um, the permissions on this VBT file because if we move this VBT file over as root, it will only be root at the remote location. And if you don't have permissions, if you don't have root elevation already, you just move that file over and now you can't delete it. So while it's here, we want to do a change mod um, B O plus RWX, right? And slash bin slash VBT. Okay. So now if we do an FS and we go back here, boom, RWX, right? So all we did was change the file permissions to make sure that when we move the VBT file over, we can still launch it. So let's go to targets and let's use one, okay? So now we are on as a guest shell. Um, the first thing we wanna do is jump guest, okay? And then we're gonna do a little put, right? So we're gonna do put, Oh, hold on one second. We're going to do a put slash bin slash VBT into home slash guest, right? 
So now if we FS BBT with our WX available on it, okay? And we've already created the jump file. So now we can do exec slash home slash guest slash VBT, right? So we're going to execute a file using our jump file that we created at home guest VBT. There we go. That right there is root password, right? So from here, we've already created a jump file. So I could do a sudo root and then home slash guest slash jump file. Boom. There we are. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's actually super simple and easy to navigate. Um, this will get you. This will get you through most things. Uh, this will. This will definitely um, assist you in in some of those areas where you only have guest shell. Well, with VBT, guest shell is all you need. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make sure to get those out there. Obviously, if you guys got more questions, leave them below. Like, comment, subscribe, all of all of those things. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time.